Darcy, viens. Darcy. Mon chien, I might get presented Winnie the Pooh, which she shouldn't have. Welcome back to Mel's Blind Life, the YouTube channel all about blindness, for another dog related video. As you can see, I've got my two gorgeous puppy dogs here. I've got Darcy sitting here between my lap um, and I've got Penny on the couch behind me. But this video is focused on Darcy today. A lot of you guys have asked over the last couple of years why do I talk French to my dog and what do his French commands mean? So we are going to talk about and show you Darcy's French commands. Aren't we, pal? Say something? No? Okay. So the question, why do I talk French to my dog? Um, it really started as a joke, basically. Um, a few years ago, I said something to him in French. I think I asked him to sit in French. And as you'll discover in a couple of moments, the word sit in French sounds, well, to a dog, maybe a little bit like the word sit in English. So I said it and he did it and I was like, oh my God, okay, that's weird. And so I looked up all of the you know french dog obedience commands and i'm like for fun for something to do to entertain his mind i'm going to teach them to him but then i actually discovered that he would listen to them really really well and so i started using some more commands in uh in harness with him when he was still working because I discovered that they, those commands made him less distractible to people uh, trying to interact with him when he was working. Darcy is a people person. He loves getting pats and attention and he's very, very um, easily distracted if you pat him. He's like, yeah, okay, I'll be in that. And he sort of, you know, used to forget what he was meant to do so I taught him uh, some French commands to get him to listen to me in harness rather than listening to other people. And I also taught him like the French, a French uh, command to, you know, to leave it and stuff like that. So that if people did start interacting with him, rather than going, no, leave it um, in English, I could sort of go, you know, I could use that French command to him and the people wouldn't think that I'd told them off. So, are you ready to go show your French? Okay, let's go. First of all, we need our dog to be with us, don't we, Dars? Bien. Mon chien. Merci. So he's just come and I've told him to sit. Okay. That means heel. Assis and sit, mon chien, and down, down, mon chien, rest. I haven't taught him the uh, French word for down, uh, he just knows down. So I've also said rest, which means stay. Double, stand up. Rest. Rest means wait. Uh, Darcy, virage. Mon chien, turn around. Virage. <laughs> He's like, oh, can we have a party again? Esti. Mon chien, rest. 
So now um, we would put, to put his harness on, we used to go, brains, good boy. So brains means put your harness on, chest. I will point out Darcy is retired, so you wouldn't ordinarily do this with a retired guide dog, but for the intents and purposes of this video, we are. So now that he's got his harness on, you would have his lead on as well and you would pick up the harness and to make him walk you would go Aneva, mon chien, vivage, just turn around, stop. Um, I didn't teach him left or right in French, it would just be find left or find right. Um, other guiding commands would have been things like find the counter, so find the counter. Yes, counter, good boy. Or you would say find the seat. Find the seat. Yes, seat, good boy. Um, first, if you were getting on a train or a bus I would just say hop up on the train or hop up on the bus or find the door something like that um, as I said if someone was talking to him and distracting him and patting I would have just gone ah bien bon chien which would have just meant that um, I put my hand down in front of his nose and I told him to come and as soon as he touches my nose, I say, bon chien, which is good dog. Um, so if you were finding steps, you go, find up step. Yes, good up step, good boy. So that um, is, he has found the step and he's put his uh, front paws on the up step, uh, which tells me where it is. Uh, obviously you'd be straight onto the steps but with the position that we've got at the moment you can't really do that. And if you were getting in someone's car, find the car. Find the car. Find it. Yes! Good job! Good boy! Yes! Good boy, good boy. Um, you can obviously also, well you could obviously also teach them, you know, I could say find Camille's car. You can um, do that as well. I've done that with, with Penny. I've said, you know, find Camille's car, find where's Aunty Nini's car, stuff like that. And the only other thing that you would use would be to follow somebody. So if you were uh, out with a friend or family member in public, you would teach the dog who that family from member or friend is and you'd say follow or go with that person's name. Uh, if you were out with your dog in harness and you took sighted guide or something like that, uh, you would drop first you would drop their harness handle like that and you would just hold their lead and uh, you would walk with them at heel so you'd say okay and that just means come around again stop and of course Darcy has a party trick which I will be doing a video on how I taught him to do very soon and um, his party trick is to speak on command. So, Darcy, speak, 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 speak. Come on, no, not jump up. Come on, speak, speak. Woof. Come on, speak. Woof. Yes, good boy, good boy. Yes. So, as you can see, they are the most common and most important dog obedience and guide dog commands. Once again, massive disclaimer, Darcy is retired. 
don't do that with your retired guide dog at home. Uh, the only reason I use Darcy for the purpose of this video is because I didn't want to confuse the sweet pea, the penny, by doing all that stuff. And she doesn't know as many of the French commands either. Uh, the last the last command um, that you'll probably all heard me say at different points in time is Vemoge, which means you may eat. Uh, don't say that to someone's guide dog in public. Uh, I actually wasn't sure whether I should put that one in or not, but you know. So uh, Vemoge means you may eat. And as you guys are well aware, um, guide dogs have a command to relieve themselves uh, and that command for Darcy and Penny is quick quicks that is what our school teaches them from a very young age so I hope that that helps uh, all of those questions answered and uh, that you've learned something as I said please don't say any of this stuff to Sia bye Darcy Please don't say any commands to someone's working guide dog in public. That is a big, massive no-no and something that we will be covering in next week's video talking about um, rules for a guide dog when you're out in public. Um, so thank you all for watching. Thank you, Darcy, who's over there sulking, I think. He's like, no, nah, I'm finished. I've had enough and uh, please remember to leave a comment down below if you've got any questions if you haven't already subscribe to Mel's Blind Life the YouTube channel all about blindness for more vision impaired guide dog equine and all of the other content and we will see you next time thanks for watching bye